Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today guys we have another crazy video as usual And in today's video guys, we actually had a ton of drama come to our timelines today because FNCS is actually going on And as we all know when a big event happens usually some drama spurts out of it like the drama I'm gonna be talking about just a little bit later Which was about Ronaldo actually getting stream sniped by another pro player during FNCS and that actually costed him his qualification onto the semifinals it was an absolutely crazy situation, guys, and I'm going to be sure to show you all of the screenshots, clips, tweets, and everything about that just a little bit later in the video. So make sure to stay tuned for that, guys, because you do not want to miss that banger of a topic. And we're also going to be taking a look at Mongrel's trio because he actually managed to win one of the rounds in the FNCS qualifiers, and I'm going to be sure to show you that just a little bit later in the video. And also, guys, if you guys do want to support me in one of the best ways possible, go ahead and enter my career code into the Fortnite item shop. It is Kanji Mark, all lowercase no spaces and would be greatly appreciated guys and is the best way to support the channel besides actually subscribing so make sure to subscribe if you guys aren't and also if you guys are running low on G Fuel there is actually a 30% sale going on site wide right now guys using our code KNG it is a 30% off sale and it is absolutely insane guys so as I said before if you guys are running low now is the time to stock up and I know a lot of you guys actually do spend around $10 on V-Bucks but right now guys if you go ahead and use our code you can get a starter pack of G Fuel for just $10. So make sure to go cop some using our code. But anyways, guys, now that that is all out of the way, let's go ahead and head into the first topic of today's video, which is actually going to be about Ronaldo getting stream sniped during FNCS. It was an absolutely crazy situation, and he really brought it all to Twitter when he tweeted this out saying, this kid literally admitted he stream sniped us and literally deleted the tweets. Like, how is this allowed? And then in that tweet, he attached two screenshots, one of, you know, a replay mode where it shows a couple names and the second photo is actually a reply from one of the members of the trios that actually stream sniped Ronaldo and he said the only person stream sniping on our trio was our IGL and we repeated to him to stop and that it's unfair eventually he did and we let them go and then right after that guys Ronaldo actually replied to the tweet saying literally open admitting he was watching and nothing is gonna happen wow and Ron's actually got a great point here this kid actually did just openly admit to stream sniping during the FNCS environment Environment, which is completely breaking multiple rules and is completely illegal to do and he says that nothing is gonna happen because this guy actually did end up deleting this reply and Ronaldo posted these DMs from that player that he was sending to Ron himself and it seems like they were already in the middle of a conversation but Ron said literally midair not even going to Castle and then Resk replied saying I was joking around but it was actually getting serious so I deleted I promised dude I would never stream snipe you I watch you all the time I'm literally a fan I would never Ever in a million plus years ever try to harm you on purpose and then at the very end he says this saying I don't know what the F my third was doing for having your stream up and I'm currently yelling at him as we speak so it really seems like you know this player at the beginning of these DMs said that you know it was a joke that you know his teammate was stream typing and he said that it was a joke completely but then at the very end of the DMs he said I'm yelling at my teammate for having your stream open in the first place and he's really just contradicting his story throughout the entire time that he's replying to Braun and his story is just so all over the place and doesn't add up in any way shape or form so clearly this kid has actually been caught red-handed by Ron I don't know why he thought it was a good idea to even do this but hopefully he does get punished for this and then guys around an hour later Ronaldo actually replied to this tweet saying lol literally admitting it and attached a clip from the player stream of him admitting to actually doing this and I'm gonna go and roll that for you guys really quickly roll it teammate rescue killed Zork and then Yes, I understand. I opened up your stream. We didn't. I didn't push you though, or anything. I open up. I open up your stream, but I didn't use it with any advantage whatsoever. We didn't key you after this. We didn't come kill you. We literally left you. So as you guys can tell by watching that clip, he did once again admit to opening Ron's stream and watching him during the FNCS tournament, which again is breaking multiple rules. And this is why Ron thinks that nothing is actually going to happen to this kid. Even though we have evidence, it's very rare that these players will actually end up getting a punishment from this. But again, as I said, I don't think any action will actually be taken against this player. I think they're just going to sweep it under the rug or maybe he'll get a warning. Who really knows if anything does happen to this kid or with Ron or anything about his qualification? 
notification. I will be sure to update you guys in a future video, so make sure to subscribe to the channel with all notifications on so you do not miss that banger of an upload. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this topic for this part of the video. Let me know down below in the comments section what you guys think about this entire situation in general. What do you guys think of the kid openly admitting to, you know, stream sniping Ron in the tweet, then deleting that tweet, saying that he wasn't stream sniping, and then openly saying that he was stream sniping once again on his stream. It seems like he's flustered and has been caught red-handed, but let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think. Maybe I'm just thinking in a different way. But anyways, now that that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and head into the next and final topic of today's video, which is actually going to be about FaZe Mongrel and his recent FNCS placements and his brand new trio, as we can all see right here. He actually placed first place in the FNCS semifinals. And yes, guys, it is a semifinals, not a finals, but guess what? He did actually manage to place first place in that, which is pretty huge, considering the amount of time that he actually spent looking for a brand new trio because a lot of people would not even take him on because they thought he wasn't good enough and it was so late into the season to the point to where trios were actually already locked for this season's FNCS but here he is just a couple of weeks later now trioing with Slender and Wave Kiko and it's just absolutely crazy the journey that Mongrel has actually taken this entire season you know people were saying he's bad then he had that insane solo cash cut pop off now he's out here winning FNCS semifinals and I would not be surprised if he actually manages to win one of the grand finals either this season or the next season it seems like he's really getting his groove back and it's super cool to see and i want to know what you guys think about mongrel's recent placement do you guys have some confidence in him you know potentially taking one of the grand finals either this season or next season of the fncs again as i said i truly do think he has the potential to do so but i think he just needs to play with the right team and this team is looking promising just to say the least make sure to let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about it but Anyways, guys, that is actually going to be the end of the video. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about all of the topics that we covered in today's video. Because as we all know, today was a pretty juicy video simply because of the stream sniping. And I want to know what you guys think about that topic. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of the way that, you know, he deleted the replies. Do you think he is in the right or wrong for trying to stop his trio from stream sniping Ron's trio? Or like, what would you have done differently in that guy's situation besides actually not stream sniping? Because I know a lot of you guys wouldn't stream snipe in the first place simply because of how wrong it is and especially in an fncs environment that is just so messed up but be sure to let me know what you guys thought about that topic and also let me know what you guys think about mongrel's new trio and him placing first place in the semifinals now granted i do know that it is only in the semifinals but that is a great placement for mongrel to be getting considering the fact that he had a hard time looking for trios throughout this entire season i know all the videos that i made on him with his new trios were just flowing out like crazy but i'm happy to see that he has finally now found a solid trio and is managing to place first place do you guys think he has a chance of winning grants let me know down below in the comment section but that is going to be the end of the video as i said if you guys do want to support me in the best way possible besides subscribing to the channel you can go ahead and enter my creator code into the fortnite item shop it is kanji mark all lowercase no spaces and will be greatly appreciated but anyways guys that's going to be it for me though i'm out of here peace